Hey guys, today I am going to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how I use Young Living Young Living Savvy Minerals. I love this stuff and I love that it's good for my skin. Um, we put so many chemicals on our face when we use products and I love to know that this is not bad for my skin. Um, one of the ways that I've found that is really good for coverage is a wet sponge. Um, any sponge will do. This is a beauty blender, but I use several knockoffs as well. This is just what I have handy. So I squeeze it under the sink and get it wet and then squeeze it out. And then it like, makes it all pouncy and that's what we want right now. So I'm going to put... And I am using warm number two. And I'm really burned, so I'm not gonna have a good match with my face. But so I have a little bit right here, and this is damp, and I'm just gonna tap it on in there. And just start bouncing it on my face. You can see my eyelids are like really red. Allergies are killing me. <laughs> and this like presses it into the skin where I feel like I'm wearing a an actual liquid foundation, so I like that. And you can always set it with um, Young Living's mineral water. So that is how I do my face. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. For concealer, I'm still using whatever concealer I like at the moment. Right now, it's NARS, but it's because I don't have the cool tone of the Young Living, so that's something I need to get. But um, for under my eyes, I do like a cool tone. I always have, and it's just preference. It covers dark circles better so if you want to cover your circles with being loving um you can do the same thing i just did you can get a little bit in a lid and wet your sponge and then do the cool under your eyes and it will cover them um so 